Welcome back to the Godot Top Down Shooter Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be doing something that I should have done a while back. Uh, so this is actually going to be kind of a halfway video, 10.5 maybe, I'm not sure of the number. Um, maybe 11.5, could be 12.5, who knows? I've recorded a whole bunch of these lately, I haven't kept track of the numbers. So what we're gonna do is create the model that goes in front of this character that's gonna be the chain gun. Um, so I've got this, this is the animation that we're going to do next time, so we're going to work with this. Um, but I quite like the Doom style chain gun here, and this is just something that I found. I looked for different low poly chain gun models and found a whole lot of different things. I mean, that looks really cool, but not really what we're after. So this one here is going to be immediately recognizable as to what it is. And we're going to make something similar to this here. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to add in a cube mesh. And I'm going to position this roughly where I want it to be. So I kind of want it to be here. I'm going to go into that and tab it down a little bit. And I might go ahead and kind of pose my character uh, just so that I can get an idea of where I want this to be. So if I think about this, I want this to be rotated forward and his arm here to be rotated forward and then kind of in, holding it like that. Now this other arm is going to be up a little bit higher and if I hit R, Z, it's going to be holding it like that. So that's kind of what it's going to look like from the top. And so we need to, actually let's move it a little bit over here. Z, move it that way. R, Z, move that back to there and we'll move it this way. Oops mode G X we'll move it that way a little bit just so it's not perfectly centered it's going to look a bit more realistic that way and realistic <laughs> we've got this box dude all right and then go back into pose mode here and I'm going to pose that down like there so with that said now that means that I can kind of I might even move this one in a bit more and up a bit more and have a handle on top. So we're going to seven, which is top down mode. That looks um, pretty good. And we can start modeling with this here. So I'll go back into object mode, select this cube. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and um, put a ring cut straight through the middle of it and then scale it out along the X axis like this. Uh, I might actually put three ring cuts, S, Control R, Two ring cuts, I think, and then scale along the x-axis, kind of just to get a, a barrel shape. Select the whole thing and scale it down a little bit. So I'm kind of keeping within those bounds. And then on the top, I will add uh, a little handle later. But I want to do the um, barrel bit at the front here. So this is going to be pretty easy. I'm not going to do anything too complex with this. First, I'll extrude this out a little bit. and. Feel free to just do your own thing with this. I'm gonna insert this and extrude it. Uh, and let's just put a, uh, I'll insert this part here and extrude it outwards. That can kind of be our magazine or whatever. And then I wanna put the chain gun bit here. So I'm gonna add in a, another cube, GZ. I'm gonna scale this cube down quite a lot. GY, pull it out and I'll scale it down. Pretty tiny, GY, bring it back to where it kind of intersects with the end here. I'll rotate it 45 degrees along the Y axis, like that. And I'm gonna put it into the position that I want it. So if I go front view, I'm gonna hit G and put it there. Uh, now I'm not gonna do this exact because you're really gonna see it. I'm gonna hit G and put another one up here. G, put another one here. G, put another one there. Now these two I'm actually gonna move a little bit to the left. So I'll select that one. Like that, and then duplicate them. Shift D, bring them over that way. I might just move these two a little bit more this way. Okay, and then if I select the faces on the end of those, turn off X-ray mode now. 
It's not going to look like a fantastic chain gun, but it'll, it'll do. Uh, we'll bring that out along the Y axis, roughly to there. And then this bit's really easy, add mesh cylinder. I'm going to turn those faces down to about go 10. Maybe that's probably too much. RX 90, GZ, GY, bring it along here, go into front view, line that up, scale it down so it's kind of over those things there. It's not going to matter too much whether I'm exact or not. Cool and then scale it along the y-axis like that. So I'm going to do one of those, then duplicate it along the y-axis up to the end, and then duplicate it back to here. All right, there's our chain gun. Very easy. Pretty much done. Um, last thing I'm going to add, though, is a handle along the top here. Add cube, GZ, GY, scale it down. Turn on x-ray mode so I can see where it is. GZ, scale it down more. Bring it back into my hand. Select the top face, which I think I've got there. GZ, bring it up. I'm gonna do a ring card along the top area, roughly there. Select the face on the side. I hate that it puts it into edge mode when you do a ring cut. Extrude it across. Do another ring cut about there and face mode, select that face and bring it down into the shape there. Um, I can do a bevel on those edges, but you're not really going to see it. So I'll just make it slide. Okay, now materials, I'm going to add a material here. I'm going to call it chain gun material. I think it's important to put the word material in, if not at the beginning, but somewhere in there. Uh, base color is just gonna be a dark gray. We'll turn the metallicness up. I'll turn the specular up, we'll turn the roughness down so it gets a little bit shiny. Um, but once again, you're not gonna see too much of this. Anyway, that's gonna be what our thing looks like from the top. And that looks pretty good there. I could add some extra stuff on here. Uh, I'm not going to, but you could go ahead and for example, what might look good is Something like this. I'm just adding some ring cuts. Just to, oops. No. Nope. Turn off X-ray mode. It's really annoying sometimes. There and there, and then I'll grab these faces here. I wonder what happens if I extrude along normals with this. Yeah. Looks bad, but it'll give it a little bit more extra detail. Bevel those edges. There we go. Fantastic. Look at that. All right. So there's our little chain gun done. This guy has got massive upper body strength and arm strength to be able to hold that out in front of him and also <laughs> to not be pushed back by the massive amount of recoil that's going to happen if this was real. So let's go ahead and um, just do one more thing here actually. I'm going to bring this out, select these faces and that's going to make it uh, G, Y, X, X, yeah, bring those out. I'm going to do a bunch of ring cuts here. Actually no, I'm going to inset them, inset these, extrude them down and then add in a cube I'm just rotate this cube 45 along the X Y maybe yep bring it over to here I have no idea what just happened to that then where did that cube go undo there we go S scale along the Y axis Bring that to roughly here. Scale it down. Scale it along the Y so it sits there. And GZ, bring it down into there. GY, just want to position it in here. And then duplicate it along that X axis a few times. Like that. Should have done this beforehand, but I'm going to do a ring cut on each of these. 
roughly to here. And you can you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply some new materials here. Uh, this is going to be um, shell case front, so shell case F, and add a new one. Shell case back. And then if I go into here, I should be able to face mode, select these, face mode, select those, that, 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 apply shell case back to that. And then these, select those, apply shell case front to that, and give this a gold color, and give this one a more of an orange color like that. Okay, so there's our, there's our gun. And if you've done the tutorial uh, previous parts, you'll notice that we spit loads of these out. So it's kind of gonna look like these are coming out of it. It could be really cool. We'll try and make it come out of this side or maybe out of the top there, who knows. But we've got that there. In the next video, we'll look at creating the animation for this.